G'day guys, Hockeyface here. Welcome to part two. And um, I'd like to touch something up. This is mainly just going to be about me talking really. I only got the gameplay just for something to watch in the background. And um, if you're a company of heroes enthusiasts, just I guess turn the audio off if you don't like to hear me talk and just watch. Um, it's a good game. And I got it in 47 minutes like I said in the previous episode and then it took me a while to edit and um yeah I just like to say it's my birthday now yep May 26th and um I'm 17 and I feel old I feel like I'm an old grandpa now nah. <laughs> but um I didn't really ask anything for anything for my birthday because I just wanted to, you know, not to be greedy or anything. I want to teach myself to um, earn my stuff, not get, get, and get. And uh, that's that's how life is, really. So I want to teach myself that beforehand. And um, I see some kids I know that all they want is um, all the best stuff nowadays. And I'm just waiting for them to get a job and then realize how hard it's going to be for them. And it's going to be harder because they don't know when in my um, case I'm gonna know and I can plan ahead in a sense hopefully you know what I mean and, um, yeah so I pretty much got a um, two pairs of Ugg boots because I kept stealing my mother's and she got sick of it so she took me out she got some Ugg boots for me <laughs> what a birthday present and um, I don't know, I got a joystick as well because I want to fly better in Project Reality. So I um, got a joystick for my birthday. It's a decent thing. And um, I'll be sure to add it to my collection of stuff, which is the first thing of my collection of stuff. So yeah, I did have other things in mind, but again, I didn't want to be too greedy. I wouldn't have minded having a new computer chair. This one I have now is pretty horrible or a... I, I really miss the good old days where um, we had the old Xbox and Halo Combat Evolved. I wanted to get a um, dodgy old TV an Xbox and four controllers and Halo Combat Evolved and I wanted to invite all my old friends over because I still know them very well. But alas, I didn't have enough money and my parents... <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't do that anyway. So, yeah, I've had a good day so far. And um, thinking of playing more Company of Heroes or Project Reality, might record another game without commentary. I don't know, play music in the background, something like that. But this video should go up today, or today by meeting the 26th of May. So um, yeah, I hope you're all enjoying it so far. I'm going to stop talking now so you can delve into the game. Funny story actually, well, it's not really funny, it's just a story so I'm going to say it. Um, I've liked this girl for almost three years now, and um, when I told her a few months ago, I um, she kind of just said, I don't see you the same way, but she took it nicely, which was what I wanted. I didn't want anything from it at the time, I just wanted to let her know, because it had been eating away at me for two years, and um, you know, I just moved along. I actually drew this picture of what her face looked like and I've got that stashed away and um, yeah so that's kind of a touchy thing and um, I sent her a birthday card on her birthday from um, somewhere special so yeah it had some funny quote on it something about um let me think for a minute birthdays are good for you 
statistics show that the people that have the most live the longest. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That's not actually all it said. It said some other things, but they're a bit mushy and I don't want to go saying that. I don't know you guys too well yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. And you guys can pay me out and go, no. And yeah, so I'm going to stop talking for a bit longer. Hope you all are enjoying the episode so far. We're five minutes into it. Alright, so I'm going to ask everyone now. I want to have a little bit of a quiz. I want to know what your favourite game is. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below um, telling me what your favourite game is and we'll see what people like the most. It can be anything, I mean, from the 1970s, uh, I guess, that's when games started to come out. I'm not sure. I think it was around there. Um, until 2011, any game, any game that you like, just um, leave a comment and, um, yeah... So I'm going to start this with, I'll leave a comment saying Halo Combat Evolved. And um, if you want, you can give a reason why. Like, you can give a reason graphically, in a sense. Whether the graphics were the best for you, or um, the gameplay, if you like the gameplay, if it's different. Um, like, for instance, the Battlefield Bad Company 2, how everything is destructible and um, the environment is destructible if you like that little nifty thing about the game or with Halo for me it's just the campaign back in um, I think it was 2003 when that was made I didn't really play anything with a decent campaign other than The Legend of Zelda and um, Ocarina of Time at the time like an FPS game first person shooter there was no such thing as a decent campaign from what I remember back then and I don't know, Halo just, just moved me into the FPS genre and I loved it ever since. I have loved it ever since and um, yeah. So basically leave a comment and um, A, what's your favourite game and B, why. You don't have to give a reason why but you can if you want to, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks. I love being a PC gamer. I've been hearing a lot about how the PlayStation Network has been down for almost a month now, or even more than a month. And um, I just like <laughs> being a PC gamer because I don't have to worry about that really. Um, all I have to worry about is the fact that if my internet goes down, which it rarely does, as in in the past couple of months. And um, I don't know. I don't mind TPG. Good plan good quota, good everything, good customer support, and I'm like marketing, sign up for TPG, here's the website, and yeah, I shouldn't do that, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't have to worry about that as a PC gamer, so I feel sorry for all those PS3 gamers, and um, it's funny because um, E3's on soon, I'm pretty sure, and um, I think we are going to announce their new console and Microsoft getting worried like oh we should bring out a console as well don't want to fall behind and PS3 just like no nah, we're just gonna you know chill not gonna bring out anything no need to worry guys it's okay but I think the PS3 console still has a longevity in it 
you know, like Blu-ray and everything and just the fact that everything's good. So um, yeah, I think it has a while. I could go on about how the fact that um, the Xbox uh, system is like not flawed or anything, but that'd be a lie. Um, I've seen forums going on about how the Xbox hasn't had a problem that the PS3 has and you know the um, Xbox Live hasn't been down ever and um, I've seen posts saying stuff about when Halo 3 came out or something that Xbox Live went down but then I saw another post saying that um, it was only the Halo 3 network that went down or something so I don't know I wasn't really a Halo 3 gamer at the time when it came out I was playing World of Warcraft at that moment, and I regret World of Warcraft, and that was a big mistake. But I'm over it now, which is all good. And I think I prefer Rift over World of Warcraft. It's just my opinion, really. I've got my reasons, but I'm not going to start a whole war, so I'm just going to walk this way now. Bye. I know I haven't been talking about Company of Heroes much in this game, but um, I can't really talk about it. Like I said in my previous video, I'm pretty sure, um, whenever I'm recording, and um, I'm watching it right now, but um, I can't talk about it because the audio sync is weird. Um, I'm talking now, and it's about 2 minutes and 25 seconds now? No, 12 minutes, sorry, and 27 seconds. and when this is uploaded to YouTube it's going to be a different um, time so it's going to be messed up so I can't really talk about it in live in a sense so um, yeah I prefer British to be honest British artillery is my favorite um, I just love those priests and sitting there and mowing everything down with the artillery and um, the fact that you can do um, non-mobile artillery as well is just crazy and I get friends that get so mad at me that they delete me on Steam and it's hilarious just um, mowing everything down but the bad thing is if you don't have decent teammates then you're gonna lose because artillery can hold them back but you know only for a little while because tanks can push through although artillery hurts tanks a lot so we're probably nearing the end of the video, so I'm going to stop talking so you guys can watch the last few minutes or minute. So I hope you've all enjoyed episode 2, part 2, episode 2, same thing. So um, stay tuned for episode 3, I'll upload that tomorrow most likely. And uh, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Hug your face out. Go back to the base. Go back.